Hello, good afternoon to all of you guys. Welcome back to our video. And today's video po is ipapakita natin kung paano mag-install ng operating system Windows 10. Either it's a new unit or an old unit which we are going to reformat. Okay? So let's go to the video. Let's do it uh, step by step. And I will going to explain it to you. Uh isa-isa kung paano po natin i-install yung operating system natin which is requested for this unit ng kaibigan ko and this video is also for educational purpose especially sa klase ko which I'm handling uh, ICT classes Okay, so let's start So step number one is conduct a testing on your unit especially on the system unit if it is functional to make sure na it is actually working well kahit na wala pa po siyang operating system and then you also check step number two hard disk drive is connected and how to check that is to log in to your BIOS setup so at this time we are already on our BIOS and then for everyone who doesn't know how to to access this bio bio setup um, we can search it on the web example this one the bio setup key is delete button but if ever if you don't know what is exactly the button the specific button for your own uh, computer desktop or your own laptop go reset this system Okay, let's go restart and then press randomly delete button or F2 okay just press them all at once all together and then there you go you will be back to the BIOS most of the time your hard drive connections is located to advanced settings on your BIOS setup so for this example it's good to go for an installation since nakikita natin that yung hard drive which is 1 terabyte is connected to our computer system already so there's right. then after that since we will be using a, a flash drive okay for our uh, installation dito po naka save or nakalagay yung windows 10 installer natin so we are going to set the BIOS system as boot device as flash drive. So we'll go to boot settings. Okay, let's go to boot settings and let's select. There are options here. Options means option one, option two, meaning to say they are the number of order which when we turn on the computer, ano yung unang mababasa ng computer system. Now, this is set as the first boot device and since and dito po nakalagay yung operating system natin so yung installer po na nandito will be read by the system and that's the time that the operating system will start running and installing on your own computer desktop or computer laptop all right so that's step one and step two if you don't know how to change settings there are instructions on the corner okay it's always present on the corner guys or on the upper part okay so let's try to connect our flash drive on the system let's see if we can have an options for flash drive there you go it's already connected the back so let's go back on our bio setup ito po yung pinaka importante on the part we have to check everything if it's set already the hard drive and the source of our operating system let's go reset our bios then let's press delete F2, F1 again so that we can access it back. Okay, there you go. It will just take four seconds for it to boot. See that? There's a delete button. Okay, let's go back to boot setup. Um, boot number one. Let's check enter. We can have this. Look at this. So as you can see, we have connected earlier our flash drive. And there you go, guys. It has all... It has been already part of the selection so we'll select uh, general u this which is the flash drive and then enter so boot number one is already set to usb drive 
and then let's go save and exit okay that's the time with that we're going to click this save and exit and then save changes and reset all right save changes and reset then yes the system will be okay say so yes Intel the system will be restarting at time it will start installing for a new operating system Windows 10 all right so as you can see on our monitor guys it's already loading so the computer system is now reading the installer on our flash drive and there you can see we have it already all right so we're good to go now so we can now start installing a brand new operating system windows 10 all right let's go to the settings